I was fat as so. Birds are warm blooded, they play in very bad animals, those who can fly, and also they have specified feathers, wings, and beaks. In Sri Lanka, at present, there are 454 bird varieties under 20 orders. Uh, from that, today I'm going to talk about 238 breeding residents. So now you can see that birds are a broad approach. So I wanted to narrow down in the goat into my research. The second, second one is factors. So factors that were considered by me are temperature, time, habitat, food, and interactions. These are my objectives. First, I need my main objective is to identify the special activities of birds. Under that, I want to identify the relationship between time, temperature of bird arrivals, and also I want to identify the, uh, the interactions of uh, birds, food, and their habitats. And also, I want to identify the special peculiarities of birds, and also I like to submit some proposal to protect these animals. So, this is my methodology. I tell you that uh, my topic is based on birds. Uh, after having topic, I have a literature review. Under that, I saw that there is a huge research gap between my research and other researchers. So, I want to fill this research gap by using my research. Uh, for that, I had to uh, collect my data newly. For that, I use this observation schedule. In that, I tabulate birds, and their time, food, habitat and interactions and also I did my research within Monolaga Reservoir in that first I identified birds more than 30 varieties so I wanted to narrow down it according to my time period as I have I had only two months or two months so uh, I selected six birds for my research so these are my selected birds red bearded bulbul, oriental magpie robin, Sri Lanka estimated by birds yellow big pepper, common data bird and purple sun bird. Uh, after tabulating this data, uh, I finally analyzed this data like that. So this is, the chart shows you that relationship between time and weather of each bird. In this, you can see that red bearded bulbul, oriental magpie robin and uh, yellow big pepper, purple sun bird, they didn't show a direct relationship between time and weather. But, in this, you can see Sri Lanka's humid weather. They can be seen in relatively low temperature of the day. And also, this common tail bird, you can see that they can be seen in evening day of evening time of the day. Uh, this light blue color dot shows you the evening time. Yeah. This side shows you the interactions, food and habitats of each bird. So this picture shows you the red bearded bulbul we call it as Kondakurula. This bird mostly like to uh, eat small worms, insects and grains and also these birds can be seen in small trees, scraps and uh, these birds uh, can be seen in small pairs and they make their nest in small trees and they scream to protect their pups. Then this picture shows you the oriental magpie robin, we call it as pole picture. These birds also like to eat small insects, fish and grains and also these birds can be seen in trees or ground. These birds also can be seen in jungle and also uh, they can be seen in single birds, pairs or groups. They grow on grounds and screams when they feel and danger. This third bird is Sri Lanka's Kimitabapter. We call it as Sri Lanka Dairimanitya. This bird is also an endemic bird of the Sri Lanka. Uh, as I observed, these birds most like to see in gloomy places and also these birds like to live in alone. Sometimes they can be seen as small pairs or groups. This is the yellow bill battler, we call it as Demolitia. These birds also like to eat insects and also fruit seeds. These birds also can be seen in, seen in small groups or pairs and they spray in grounds, screams when they feel low, when their fear feels dangerous. This is common tail bird. It was extremely small bird, we call it as butt teacher. These birds like to eat insects, small fruits, and they can be seen in small gardens. I observed that these birds screams in top of trees, and also these birds mostly like to see with their fears. 
and this is my final bird. We call it as purple sunbird. You all know that Panicurula. This bird also like to suck nectar. And not only that, this bird uh, like to spend their time in gardens and small trees. Mostly these birds can be seen in flowering areas. These are my conclusions according to my data. First, I observed that common tailor bird can be seen in relatively low temperature of the day. You saw that in my table also. And also, Sri Lanka skimmed pepper can be seen in... Sorry, common tailor bird can be seen in the evening day of the time. And Sri Lanka skimmed pepper can be seen in low temperature of the day. And also, this bird like to be seen in dark places within less human influence. And also, most of the birds like to seen in open areas. Uh, that that means I studied about only six birds. From those birds, there are four birds that like to seen in open areas. And also, most of the birds within these uh, six birds, they like to sp uh, spend their time with their peers. And also, they uh, try to interact with them to attract the birds of opposite sex. And uh, also, I concluded that these all birds interact with other birds and their peers also when they feel the danger or when their peers feel the danger or due to competitive of food. In these days, in this Monagra uh, reservoir, we can see that people try to hunt these birds, not only birds, other animals also. So, we have to prevent this because these animals are valuable for our biodiversity to continue the balance of our biodiversity. So I like to recommend you that if we can prevent entering people into this natural forest, we can protect these valuable animals. And also, if we can aware of us school children about these areas, we also can protect them. Protect them. So these are my references. Thank you all for being with me.